Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaur Museum. Season 4, The Large Herbivorous Dinosaurs. Bieber the Stegosaurus, conquering the world with its spikes. Scientific name, Stegosaurus. Period, Late Jurassic. Fossils found in the United States, North America. Description, Stegosaurus is the largest stegosaurid with a body length of around 9 meters. It had tall bone plates on the back. The tail's four spikes, each about one meter long, served as weapons against predators. Herbivorous dinosaurs often fled when threatened. Not that they were craven, but the predators had fangs and claws while the hunted prey usually had no decent weapons, hence escape was their best option. However, some stegosaurid dinosaurs may have been able to defend themselves. They were brave, and more importantly, they had weapons that could protect themselves in the form of bony plates and spikes. In the entire Stegosauridae family, the largest and most combative member was Stegosaurus, found in present-day North America. Bieber was an adult male Stegosaurus, 9 meters long, weighed 4 tons, and 2.7 meters tall at its hip. If we count its bone plates, the height could reach 3.5 meters. It is a large dinosaur with lots of solid protective armor. Stegosaurid dinosaurs grew rows of bones, called intradermal osteoderms, inside their bodies. These bones were arranged along its back and tail. 17 to 22 bone plates stood on the back of a stegosaurus. These diamond plates staggered along the midline of the back, and the largest bone plate could be as high as 76 centimeters. When these bone plates were first discovered, paleontologists had no idea how to arrange them. They thought Stegosaurus probably looked like an extraordinary hedgehog with bone plates all over the body. Later, they realized that these bone plates were not as sharp as the thorns of a hedgehog and were only found on the back and tail, with those covering the back looking like tiles on a roof. We now know that the bone plates on the back of the Stegosaurus were not flat like roof tiles, but stood up vertically. The next question was, how were the plates distributed on the back and the tail? Many of the early models of the Stegosaurus had eight spikes on the tail. Now we know that there should only be four. Mistakes were made because fossil evidence was inadequate. Later, as paleontologists discovered more and more Stegosaurus fossils, they had a better understanding of its appearance. For some time, people thought the Stegosaurus's towering plates were fragile and could not be used as weapons. Instead, when Stegosaurus faced predators, it would rush blood into the bone plates, turning them red instantly, scaring off the more opportunistic predators. Some researchers, however, studied Hesperosaurus, a Stegosaurian, and concluded differently. They found that the Hesperosaurus's plates were not covered in skin, but sharp keratin, meaning that they could be used in combat. If their finding is correct, Stegosaurus's plates might have been useful in fighting too. Of course, if the predator attacked, apart from using its plates for protection, Bieber would also use the tail spikes to deal damage. Each of those four sharp spikes was about one meter long, forming two symmetrical pairs at the end of the tail, parallel to the ground. Whenever it swung its tail toward the predator and the predator failed to evade, the spike would slam into the predator's body, causing fatal injury. This defense could often drive away the terrifying Allosaurus. Compared with the tall body, Bieber's head was tiny. A small head meant it could not boast its intelligence. Earlier findings suggested that in its hip cavity, Stegosaurus had a ganglion that worked well with its brain to coordinate its body movements. Now, researchers found that the cavity contained glycogen body instead of a ganglion, so Stegosaurus had no second brain. Still, with protection from its weapons, Bieber the Stegosaurus lived with little worries. Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaur Museum. Join our writer, Miss Yong Yong, 
and artist Mr. Zhao Chuang and start this fantastic journey.